1. What is the value of x in the equation 3, x, plus 7 is equal to 16? a. 3 b. 9 c. 4 d. 7 2. If f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, what is f2? a. 11 b. 7 c. 15 d. 9 3. Solve for y. 5y minus 8 equals 3y plus 10. a. 9 b. 4 c. negative 9 d. 8 4. The sum of the angles in a triangle is a. 90 degrees b. 360 degrees c. 180 degrees d. 270 degrees Five. What is the slope of the line passing through points two, three, and four, seven? A. Two. B. One. C. Three. D. Four. Climate change is one of the most pressing issues facing our planet today. It is characterized by rising global temperatures, melting polar ice caps, and an increase in extreme weather events such as hurricanes, droughts, and floods. Scientists attribute these changes to the increase in greenhouse gas emissions, primarily from human activities such as burning fossil fuels and deforestation. Despite these challenges, there is still hope. Governments, organizations, and individuals around the world are working to reduce emissions, transition to renewable energy sources, and protect natural ecosystems. Collective action is critical to mitigating the long-term effects of climate change. 6. Which of the following best summarizes the main idea of a passage discussing climate change and its effects? A. Climate change has no measurable impact on weather patterns. B. The effects of climate change are evident in rising global temperatures. C. Renewable energy is too expensive to implement. D. The history of Earth's climate is unchanging. Seven. If a paragraph describes how photosynthesis occurs, the best title would be A. The process of photosynthesis B. The importance of soil nutrients C. Water's role in animal survival D. Renewable energy sources Eight, identify the author's tone. Despite the challenges, there is still hope for mitigating climate change. A, sarcastic. B, optimistic. C, pessimistic. D, neutral.
9. In the sentence, she hesitated, knowing the choice was irreversible, the word hesitated most likely means. A. Stumbled. B. Paused. C. Accelerated. D. Ignored. Ten. What is the purpose of an index in a textbook? A. To summarize chapters. B. To locate specific topics. C. To provide definitions. D. To present visual aids. Eleven. Which organelle is responsible for energy production in cells? A. Ribosome. B. Nucleus. C. Mitochondria. D. Golgi apparatus. Twelve. The formula H2O represents A. Carbon dioxide. B. Oxygen. C. Water. D. Hydrogen. Thirteen. What type of rock is formed from cooling magma? A. Sedimentary B. Igneous C. Metamorphic D. Fossil 14. Which of the following best describes the role of the heart in the circulatory system? A. To break down nutrients. B. To pump blood throughout the body. C. To filter waste. D. To produce hormones. 15. Which gas do plants primarily absorb during photosynthesis? A. Oxygen B. Carbon monoxide C. Carbon dioxide D. Nitrogen 16. Identify the correctly punctuated sentence. A. The book is on the table, it belongs to Sarah. B. The book is on the table, it belongs to Sarah. C. The book is on the table, it belongs to Sarah. D. The book is on the table. It belongs to Sarah. 17. Select the sentence with correct subject verb agreement. A. The group of students are waiting for the bus. B. The group of students is waiting for the bus. C. The groups of students is waiting for the bus. D. The group of students were waiting for the bus. 18. Choose the word that best fits. She was blank, tired to continue working. A. 2. B. 2. 
C2 D2 19. Which is the best transition word to indicate contrast? A. Therefore B. Similarly C. However D. Furthermore 20. What is the correct plural form of child? A. Childs B. Children C. Childs D. Children's 21. Evaluate integral x2 dx. A. 3x3 plus c. B. 32x plus c. C. 3x2 plus c. D. x3 plus c. 22. If a circle has a radius of 7 cm, what is its area? A. 49 pi cm squared. B. 14 pi cm squared. C. 154 cm squared. D. 100 pi cm squared. 2 The Northwest Evaluation Association or NWEA is a global nonprofit organization that specializes in providing research based assessment solutions designed to support educational growth and inform instruction. Founded in 1977, NWEA is best known for its measures of academic progress or MAP assessments, which are adaptive, computer-based tests that measure student progress and proficiency in subjects like math, reading, language usage, and science. NWEA assessments are widely used in schools to help teachers identify students' academic strengths and areas for improvement, set personalized learning goals, and track progress over time. The data from these tests supports differentiated instruction, curriculum planning, and accountability efforts. The organization's mission is to help all students learn and achieve their full potential by providing tools that drive equitable, evidence-based educational decisions. Here are five top beneficial uses of NWEA. 1. Personalized Learning NWEA assessments, like the MAP Growth Test, adapt to each student's ability level, providing a detailed understanding of their strengths and areas for improvement. This allows educators to tailor instruction and interventions to meet individual student needs, ensuring optimal learning outcomes. 2. Progress Monitoring NWEA tests are designed to be administered multiple times a year, enabling educators to track student progress over time. This helps identify whether interventions are effective and if students are making adequate academic growth. 3. Data-Driven Decision-Making The assessment results provide actionable data that support curriculum planning, resource allocation, and instructional strategies. Schools can use this data to identify trends, set priorities, and focus on areas needing improvement. 4. Student Goal Setting NWEA reports include growth projections based on national norms, which help students and educators set realistic academic goals. This empowers students to take ownership of their learning and fosters motivation to achieve measurable milestones. 5. Equity in Education 
Because NWEA assessments are adaptive and norm-referenced, they provide an equitable measure of student performance regardless of grade level. This helps identify gaps in learning across diverse populations and ensures that support is targeted where it is most needed.